Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about microcontroller abstraction layer. Before start to discuss about microcontroller abstraction layer, first we can understand about AutoSAR architecture. Basically, AutoSAR architecture has three layers. Application layer, AutoSAR runtime environment and base software. The base software can be divided as three more layers. Service layer, ECU abstraction layer and microcontroller abstraction layer. In this video, we are going to discuss about microcontroller abstraction layer. If you want to understand more about AutoSAR architecture, then you can watch my previous videos. I have mentioned all the videos in the description. Now we can go to this video. Now what is mcall? mcall is microcontroller abstraction layer. So it is a software module that directly access on-chip MCU peripheral modules and external devices that are mapped to memory and makes the upper software layer independent of the MCU. You can see in this slide, this particular part is part of microcontroller abstraction layer and the black color one is a microcontroller or hardware we can say. In the complete AutoSAR architecture, designing of mcall would be difficult one. So basically most of the projects mcall drivers will be delivered by microcontroller manufacturer itself. The microcontroller abstraction layer consists of the following module groups. One is microcontroller driver, second one is communication driver, third one is memory driver, fourth one is IO driver meaning input output driver. Then fifth one is crypto driver, sixth one is wireless communication driver. We can start to discuss one by one more deeply. First we can start from microcontroller drivers. Driver for internal peripheral functions with direct microcontroller access meaning example is core test. So the internal peripheral functions part of for an example watchdog driver, general purpose timer and microcontroller unit. The role of watchdog driver is it will initialize the watchdog and do the mode settings and the role of general purpose timer is it will perform timer count. The role of microcontroller unit is it will initialize the clock and do the power mode settings. You can see in this picture how what are the part of microcontroller drivers and this will be tightly coupled with the microcontroller. So each microcontroller driver has each peripheral on chip peripheral devices. Memory driver, this is one of the important one. Drivers on on chip memory devices, for an example, internal flash and internal EEPROM. So you all know that what is flash and what is EEPROM. So memory mapped with the external devices as well meaning external flash. So internal drivers means it's used to access internal peripherals located in microcontroller peripherals like internal EEPROM, ADC. The external drivers means it is used to access external peripherals located outside the microcontroller like external flash, EEPROM, watchdog etc. So the internal driver lies in mcall layer itself at the same time external driver lies in the ecu abstraction layer so you already know that ecu abstraction layer is the middle layer in the base software now main important thing in the memory driver is flash driver so the developer has to write the flash driver code inside the memory drivers so fls driver initializes the flash and read or write to flash memory this is the part of memory drivers now we can see about communication drivers. This is also one of the important drivers to make a communication to the communication buses. So drivers for ECU onboard meaning SPI, serial peripheral interface and vehicle communication like CAN, Ethernet, FlexRay, these all are part of vehicle communication. So in the OSI layer, communication driver is part of data link layer. Now we can see one by one SPI, serial peripheral interface driver. The per it will perform on-chip clock serial function that initializes the SPI and performs SBI input output and SBI IO buffer settings. LIN local interconnected network driver. This will initializes LIN and performs LIN input output the same way for CAN. Controller area network. This will initializes CAN and performs CAN input output. FlexRay. Flexray device driver initializes Flexray and performs Flexray input output. Ethernet. Ethernet device driver initializes Ethernet driver and performs Ethernet driver input output. 
SPA handler driver. SPA handler driver is part of communication driver. So this mainly used to allow concurrent access of several clients to one or more SBA buses. You can see this example. Now we have a multiple concurrent, that means multiple concurrent access. One is onboard device abstraction, meaning external watchdog driver. So whatever it is present mentioned here, this is coming from a abstraction layer. And we have a memory hardware abstraction, meaning external EEPROM driver. So the SPI handler driver allows concurrent access of several clients to one or more SBA buses and the same SPA handler driver will be associated with the microcontroller SPI. IO drivers. This drivers for analog and digital IO mainly perform analog to digital conversion and PWM and digital input output. These all are the part of IO drivers. We can see one by one. ICU input capture unit driver. It's using on-chip MCU timer and initialize ICU. This is also measures PWM waveforms. PWM, pulse width modulation. It's a device driver using on-chip MCU timer. It initializes PWM and sends PWM waveforms as output. ADC, analog to digital converter. It is a device driver for on-chip ADC. It initializes ADC start or stop AD conversion and sets AD conversion result buffer and reads AD conversion results. DIO Digital Input or Output It's an MCU port device driver that performs port signal because it will take care of the input or output. Port Port driver is a MCU port device driver that performs MCU pin settings. Crypto driver This is mainly used for Cryptographic related functions. You can see this picture how the communication will happen from crypto services, then it will go to the crypto interface, then it will come to the crypto drivers. Drivers for on chip crypto devices like Qi or HSM. HSM means hardware security module, T means security hardware extension. It implements a generic interface for synchronous and asynchronous cryptographic primitives. And this also supports key storage, key configuration, and key management for cryptographic services. The complete cryptographic algorithm will be taken care by crypto driver. Wireless communication driver. This wireless communication driver will be used in the Ethernet interface. So maybe we can say it's an additional and advanced one. Drivers for wireless network system, for an example, in vehicle or off board communication. This will be used for the wireless communication related activities. The wireless Ethernet driver provides communication access to the radio for wireless communications. You can see this picture. This is an example of wireless communication driver stack. So here they have mentioned wireless Ethernet physical medium and it will come via Ethernet interface. This is basically about to understand about the M call microcontroller abstraction layer. So the microcontroller abstraction layer, it's part of tedious task at the same time every automotive engineer should have an idea about microcontroller abstraction layer and microcontroller abstraction drivers thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it to your friends and if you want to stay with us for more technical contents please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day